Hello everyone, Ultimate Bricks here, and today I am going to be reviewing the 60 Years of the Brick special promotional set that contains uh, four mini builds. It is currently free with purchase of a 125 or more uh, dollars in the United States right now from January 28th to February 16th. It is set number 40290, contains 421 pieces, and is recommended for ages 8 and up. You can see the um, four sets on the front. Another really neat detail is they also show the four sets on the back with two additional pictures right there. I think that looks uh, really, really neat. So now uh, let's open up this set. Um, this is definitely going to be a hard to get set, I think. Um, definitely a very cool one also. And I, um, I'm guessing that it'll probably, probably be expensive afterwards. So now let's uh, take it out of the package. And there is uh, a lot of stuff in there. Well, it's kind of uh, crammed in there. And the, uh, here's something that's kind of disappointing. This instruction manual is completely crumpled. Uh, that's too bad. Uh, should be able to still use it, of course. But we have a bag one, two, three, and four. All right, build it. All right, here we are. I have them arranged in order of release. And then the uh, 60 years plaque in the middle. And let's take a look at this first. It is simply the two by four uh, printed piece on top of a red two by four, which is nice. That's the, you know, the classic Lego brick. And it's put on top of this four by four plate on a little slant. And it's a great way to display this tile piece, and I think it's really cool. All right, so we will take a look at them in order of release. So let's take a look at the yellow castle first. First off, the functions. There is a drawbridge that you can put up. And I'm not sure if this is how it's supposed to be, but if you take off these two yellow pieces, then the uh, sides, you can open up the sides like that. So I'm not sure if that was a feature in the original set, um, because I did not own the set, of course. Um, but I don't have it like secondhand or anything uh, like that. But I know this is a very classic um, set that a lot of people had um, in the 70s and 80s because this came out in uh, 78. So very popular set. And I think it looks cool and I think they did a great job on um, re recreating it. And because it's you know a micro build, there's not a lot of uh, uh, features that can be put into it, but the detail is all there and it is extremely accurate and uh, I guess I'll bring in the picture right here so you can see it right there you can see um, that it's uh, very accurate. Alright so now let's set that one aside and take a look at the next one this um, classic space set it was in the original set it came with two base plates and so they tried to recreate that there one of them was the moon base plate they tried to recreate that by building up uh, this you know those uh, base plates that have the little craters um, built in, so you can see it right there, that base plate, They're recreating that um, with this little sloping right here. The radar dish looks uh, good and accurate, and the little hut looks good, and there's uh, a uh, little building, and then the ship itself uh, can come off and um, uh, looks really good, looks definitely accurate and is um, very reminiscent of it. And then you can see the landing pad right under there. Uh, looks great as well. So let's take a look at the next one, which is the um, the pirate ship. And you can see that one compared right there. Looks pretty accurate. It's um, built, actually has some blue under there to be the water, which I think is really nice. And it kind of like is a lot larger than the stand, which is kind of cool. It like is, you know, a little bit bigger, makes the ship look bigger, I think. One complaint I have, so it's not really uh, unavoidable as this thing um, kind of just swivels around which means if you hold it and like you know pick it up then they'll get completely uh, messed up but then you'll just have to fix it you see this cannon details a lot of flags and all the sails and the, the masts and all this stuff just looks really neat nice and uh, very accurate and uh, looks better from this side of course you get to see the black of the flags instead of the white but overall I think it looks very nice and it's definitely an uh, incredible little build. I think they did a fantastic job on all of these. And coming up on the uh, the last one is the monorail. And everybody loves the monorail. I mean, really like comparing it to the one right there. I mean, everybody loves the monorail sets. Um, I'm not sure there's very many people who don't. Um, 
not a lot of people own them, but uh, everyone who owns them likes them. I definitely am. Um, like sets, I think they're cool. I wish they would bring back the monorail. Like use the same exact pieces so they're compatible with the old ones or something like that. But maybe um, revamp it so it's compatible with the modern power functions. I don't know. Anyways, you got the monorail right here, which could kind of, or the, um, not the rail, but the, the train could come off if you really want. So I just kind of ruined it there uh, by doing that. You put it back together like that. The station uh, looks good. Obviously, if you wanted to customize it, you could maybe, you know, bring on some track and bring it all the way around. If you really wanted to see under there, another little thing from the, that's the, uh, the walkway up to the station and then the walls of the, uh, the platform. And then there's a little um, hot dog stand right there, or a burger stand. That's what it was supposed to be in the original set. And this is representing just a little um, gate, so you couldn't uh, walk onto the tracks that were underneath, because this was a, uh, a double-decker thing. So, anyways, those are the three builds, or the four builds, sorry. I'll just uh, get them back onto the screen. And I think that this set is um, really good. I think this is a really nice set to pay tribute to these old sets and if they're not going to um, re-release them in full scale it is nice to have them in uh, micro scale and if you have the original sets it's, um, it's an awesome um, you know, way to remember them because they're really cool and if you want to just display the sets on a shelf they're really cool because you get to like um, appreciate the full size builds without having to uh, take up all the space of having to actually deal with them anyway so um Thank you so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Uh, tell me which one of these is your favorite in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.